this session, we're going to learn how to configure multiple monitor support for Viewpoint. And this will allow you to seamlessly extend your session across multiple monitors. Before we begin, we want to make sure that our pop-up blockers are disabled because allowing pop-ups will ensure that the functionality works with ease. Should you actually disable pop-up blockers, please ensure that you log out of the application successfully and log back in in order for those changes to be implemented. So let's begin. We need to start off by detaching a worksheet before dragging it onto the second monitor. To, de to detach a worksheet, we simply hold on to the worksheet tab title and a detach worksheet tooltip will appear and letting go. As you can see by letting go, this will open up a secondary incident window that will replicate the market info widgets and information in the primary window. By detaching the worksheet first, this will then allow you to pick it up and then drag it to a child monitor or a secondary one. For demonstrative purposes, I'm going to demonstrate how you can drag an existing worksheet from the primary monitor to a secondary one. Let's minimize our primary monitor on the left and maximize our secondary monitor on the right. Here we've got separate internet browser tabs. Let's say I want to move the security info worksheet to my secondary monitor. All you need to do is press the control key on your keyboard and hold it down, pick up the security info worksheet and drag it to the secondary window and let go. As you can see, the security info tab now actually has a secondary worksheet right next to the market info worksheet that we had in our first step. By pressing control, this will move the worksheet from one primary monitor to another. As you can see, the security info is no longer on the primary monitor, but now on the secondary. If you don't want to move it, but actually copy or clone the worksheet, you can do this by pressing Alt on your keyboard, holding it down and selecting the chart worksheet, dragging it across to your secondary monitor and letting go. This will replicate or copy your chart onto your secondary monitor. Now that I've demonstrated the ability to clone as well as drag worksheets from the primary monitor to the secondary one, we're gonna walk through the logging out and logging back in process. For demonstrative purposes, I'm going to name this worksheet two by double clicking on the heading and putting a two at the end of it, just to indicate that this is the second child window. We need to log out properly by going to the primary window and logging out. We need to make sure that this loads successfully as it will close and save the secondary windows as well as the primary. Logging back into the system, I will walk through what your expectation will be in regards to the secondary tabs. As it's loading, you will see that the secondary worksheets will appear as secondary internet browser tabs on the main window. As you can see, we have two internet browser tabs, which symbolizes the first one being the primary window. This is indicative of the relevant navigation and logout button. And the secondary window, here we've titled Market Info 2, that we can then pick up, detach, and bring to our secondary monitor. It is important to note that if you have more than two monitors, and you had a third extended browser, it will appear as three tabs in the primary of which you can then simply pick up and drag onto your secondary monitor. Just another handy tip, the maximum number of worksheets that you can have open at any one time is 10 worksheets. And this is combined across any open monitors. So here we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. As you can see on the 11th one, a pop-up appears saying you cannot create any more tabs. So just be aware of that. Mm -hmm. 